And welcome back to Daily Wrap. Well, did you hear Catherine Archuleta stepping down earlier today? Who's she? Only the director of the Office of Personnel Management. Her resignation comes after it was revealed earlier this week that the personal information of more than 22 million people, well, they've been hacked. Unfortunately, this was not the first time something like this has happened under her watch. There were two separate but related cyber attacks just last month accessing the personal information of around 4.2 million current and former federal workers, including social security numbers, addresses, health and financial histories, among other things. In a statement today, Archuleta says that while working at the OPM has been the highlight of her career, she also said, and we quote, I believe it's best for me to step down and step aside and allow new leadership to step in, enabling the agency to move beyond the current challenges and allowing the employees at OPM to continue their important work. Deputy uh, Director of Management at OPM, Beth Cobert, will act as interim director while a permanent replacement is found. What do you make of all this, Rick? Should Archuleta have stepped down earlier, or is this the right time? Somebody had to go, that's for well, sure. Well, that's just it. I mean, I actually feel bad for her. I mean, she's not a computer expert. I, I don't think there's a branch of government that is safe from uh, from this kind of a hack because attack. Because it's so, so antiquated? Well, I just don't think our government has caught up to where the Chinese, who we think did this, are. Mm -hmm. We need to. I mean, we are seriously ill-prepared on cyber warfare. We need to get much better at it. But, you know, as you say, somebody has to go. And I, I feel bad for somebody when they're put in that position. It doesn't mean she did a bad job. She's, you know... She's the manager She's of a bad team. She's the manager <laughs> of, uh, of a problem that will affect every branch of government. By the way, just like it's affected every major business in America. So should all those CEOs step down? I don't think so. Yeah. Carl. Well, so while I was in the military, I had a high security clearance for, in my job. And uh, we were hacked. I got a letter one day said, uh, your information's been hacked. Congratulations. Have a nice day. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Did they get to your Tinder account? Uh, no, they did not get my Tinder <laughs> okay. I was married. <laughs> so, uh, so what's your point? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So they got to your Tinder account. Ashley Madison, come on. Uh, no, it, uh, it, so they, they had leaked all of our information. Everybody from my SEAL team had all their information just poured down the internet, social security numbers. Wow. Yeah, I mean, so the, these things happen. I don't really like her because you know, all these government bureaucrats at that level, they all just absolved of any responsibility okay, they wait get a to second. step down. You don't like her. What has she done in her career that exactly that you don't like? Not managed you a team never effectively. heard of her until today. Not managed admitted. a team. I have not heard of her until actually but yesterday. But you don't like her. But I don't like her because she did not manage a team effectively to secure Well, then you don't like all the CEOs in the United States because every one of them have been hacked. And you don't like every single operator. Well, you may not like every single operator, but you don't. You can't say you don't like her. You don't even know how, what kind of a job she's, she's a done. She's a government bureaucrat, I and see. I'm willing to roll the dice here and say 90-10, she's a turd. That's Travis right. <laughs> how, my question for OPM is: How do we move on when like 20 million people it's have had their yeah. privacy uh, compromised? Yeah. These yeah. are. You know, folks that are trying hard every day. Mortgages. Right. And, and cards, well, wait. The, the good too. news is, as weird as it sounds, it wasn't hacked by somebody who's looking to steal that information to steal your money. But who are they going to give it to? It was. How it, do we know? It, well, yeah, we're pretty know. sure it was the Chinese. And what You're they're looking sure? for. But you don't sure. know. Just well, like I don't, I don't no. know her. You don't know that. Right. Yeah, I'll tell you what. I, I, the sources that I'm being told, are, it was the Chinese. But yeah. you can never say anything with We need to put him in charge of this. So. I actually. I spend a lot of time on cyber warfare. I think we are so ill-prepared for this. Agree. Well, but it, it totally was agree. a foreign government, and what they're really trying to do is, is develop spy opportunities yeah. here, and they have ways of tracking right. that by, by these people. Travis, yeah. so what can we do to better prepare ourselves? Should we just you know hire the geek squad away and just put them in the government and just try to put up better firewalls and <coughs> just better precautions for, for because this is happening everywhere we saw it with the IRS we saw it here now and it's it's it affected our military as well I mean, it just seems like nobody's safe stock market. how about the private sector bringing again, the power of the free market again companies like Oracle have been managing CIA servers for years mm -hmm. they put out you know, handsome rewards for anyone that can ses successfully penetrate their systems and that's a good incentive right. we want Investments to be, you know, have our systems harden and toughen, and we need to use all the power of the. the I'm all for that, but it is fair yeah. to point out that those companies are servicing private companies, and they're getting hacked left and right too. It would be funny if we put out a reward uh, saying, "All right, uh, try to penetrate uh, the office of I don't know the FBI's server." And then Kim Jong Un comes back and says, "Yeah, I did it. <laughs> Give me my money." He right? had the best round of golf in history with 40 witnesses. Yeah. He scored a 17 on 18 rounds of golf. 
So well, um, he's God. Come yeah, on. Exactly. So, but look, are I, you questioning it? What a fool I was. <laughs> so, no, no, no. The, the, the issue here is that, like, like he said, the problem with the government is they take forever to do everything. Like, put a private sector in charge of it. I mean, look at look, the Obama administration. How, mu how long? How many billions did it take him to build a website that didn't even work? Right, right. But what he did to yeah. fix it was he bought in the no best argument. and brightest from Silicon Valley, and yes. they eventually did kind of fix it. So. Right. We, sh we have to be doing sector. that here, yeah. right, from the, the private sector. The problem is well, I'm not convinced our seconds. best and brightest yeah. are good enough. With in the this true. You, might, you may be right. That's what I worry we about. We can text message microloans to Bangladesh right. in seconds. Right. We mm -hmm. ought to be able to do better than this. Yeah. That will be the last word You'd on think. that, and a good one for that matter. Will replacing Archuleta stop these cyber attacks from happening? That is a rhetorical question. Go to NewsmaxTV.com slash comments. Write us. Let us know. We're going to read some more after the break. This is The Daily Wrap. You're not allowed to go anywhere.